Hi guys, welcome back to The Average. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I have a problem, but I couldn't help it. I saw these jelly paints and I got excited again because I thought if they're a different kind, I want to test them out. And maybe some of you don't know, but I tested these ones out. I use these a lot and I really enjoy them. They're the HIMI gouache set and they look like this and they have this cool little jelly cup design. They look a bit gross, but they're still usable and I still use them a lot and I enjoy them still. So I saw these online on Amazon and they look similar. They look similar in design to those ones except they come with this kind of chocolatey lid type thing that I thought was really cool and a nice aesthetic and it's all like rubbery. It's not as cute as maybe the pink packaging but I still kind of like it. And then the outside is a bit weird. I don't really like this style of packaging. I do like the way that this looks and you can see all the colours underneath. That's quite cute. I think this one got cracked in transit but I wouldn't say that was the fault of the packaging because I think they double wrapped it. I was carrying this home and I slipped and I threw it across the hallway. So I was like, hmm, maybe that's that's my bad, I think. <laughs> and yeah, so let's open this up. They come again with these kind of plastic lid things that I really despise, but hey. They come with this jelly cup design and you can just push them out from underneath. And I think that's quite cool if not a bit weird and yeah they have a little bit off the side so maybe you get more for your money in this one than this one i think they are pretty much the same price but actually they seem a bit bigger than these ones let me check yeah they're about the same size you just skim that a little bit this one is a little bit longer so maybe you get about the same amount of paint in each jelly cup so you get 20 paints here and 18 in this one and two of these are white so you get more colors in this it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing as that one but i do like this style of jelly cup mm. i can't open it oh my gosh it's really hot to open. <laughs> why as if this wasn't annoying enough okay pesto um i don't need your help thank you you can go over there okay good girl She's kind of sitting behind the camera if anybody is wondering what Pesta's up to. Okay, so I'm just gonna undo all of these and then we'll do a little review. Okay, so that was the most frustrating thing ever. My thumb actually hurts a little bit now. <laughs> First of all, I do like the look of these. They, some of them look a little bit watery compared to the other jelly paints that we've tried in the past. The gouache paints, I should call them, not jelly paints. I'm just so used to calling them jelly paints. Because of this jelly cup design that I love to look at. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out. Let's get into it. One thing I did notice straight away is that there's no palette with this set. Unless, you, of course, you're supposed to use this as your palette, which is the lid. But I'm not really into, like, putting paint on here and then closing it and then trying to put that somewhere in my house because I feel like the paint would just get everywhere. So I think I'm just going to test out a few colours in my sketchbook. Yeah, as I thought, it, it does seem a little bit watery, but that's nothing I dislike, really, because I like using watercolours as well. So if the gouache is a little bit watery, the problem is if it's not opaque enough, Okay, first of all, I decided on what I wanted to draw and that was of course going to be a continuation of my new comic idea that I am definitely 100% going to do this year. So, if you're new here or if you're not new here, I'm going to just recap. I want to do a, another horror comic because I've done one previously on my channel where um, it takes place in a motel and that's kind of the main theme or scene of this comic and I wanted to explore again the style. I want to do this painterly style for a comic. I know it's kind of a big, um, it's a big idea, it's a big concept to have all the panels painted like this but maybe some of them could be simple. I'm still exploring the style. I've written half of the comic. I'm getting 
I'm getting I'm getting closer to the goal of actually being able to work on it after work and do full-time stuff so the point of this drawing was to explore a night scene of a different motel what I do is I go on Pinterest and I kind of look at loads of different photos that I like and then this one is kind of a collection of photos pasted together in my mind I'd looked at different references and picked up bits that I liked from them and the lighting and the color scheme that I liked and thought that I would go with what that looked like and I really enjoyed delving into it. I think I was having that moment of panic where you think nothing's going right in the painting at all and I was having that feeling that it wasn't going to look good so I pushed through that pain and I think overall I'm really pleased with the outcome of this painting. So I wanted to do a night scene because I want to play with the idea of having the whole comic be at night or some sort of scene like that where she arrives at the hotel, my main character, and it's night time and she's all tired and this is the kind of lighting that I want because I know I've, I've done a lot of paintings before that were all in the daytime so this gave me a good opportunity and I think if I'm going to do this kind of style for all the panels I definitely want to use this gouache jelly style paint that I got before and even this one because this one I was afraid was a bit watery at first but then as I was getting to use it I realized it is very opaque and very nice and I could still use it like I would with watercolors where you can water it down and mix them and form a lighter layer. I really enjoyed painting these clouds I think I kind of made them up a little bit and got them in, from a reference piece and this was part of the image that I kind of pasted into another one. I was struggling a bit at first because I felt like everything was a bit off in the painting like all the perspective was off and I just yeah I struggled for a long time I think I worked on this painting for a few hours today and it got me I was like hmm but I just kept going with it I was in listening to some podcasts and just enjoying it trying to get lost in the painting a little bit which was really easy to do when you have these jelly type um, paints because you can just dip in I'm mixing them kind of off camera together because I never use or I try not to use them straight from the tin the tin the, the pots because I think like that's a very generic looking color so I like to mix it to make them make the color scheme work together I worked on the clouds a lot because I think it is the kind of center point of the mood of the painting except for the or obviously like the yellowy light coming out from the windows and the door frame I think the the whole clouds looming over the whole situation really sets the tone of the piece so I wanted to make sure that I had those clouds perfect and right and the paints really worked for this because they layered down really nicely and opaquely and I think I had the same kind of vibe that I had when I made a foot that first motel piece that I did with the other jelly paints yeah this is kind of a continuation on from that style and i really enjoyed it the only problem is obviously if i go down this route of trying to make the comic each panel look like this it's gonna take me years to finish this comic so i i keep telling myself like no you can't you can't do it in this style but i keep thinking yeah maybe i can I, and then i'll make a few panels a little bit more abstract and less painterly but then would that look rubbish so that's something i definitely have to keep exploring and for sure my new goal of the year is to get this comic up and done because i miss making comics i when I wasn't working full time, I, that was my full time job was to make comics and I miss doing it. I miss it a lot and I have this story to tell and I think it's going to be a good story so I need to get it out and it's frustrating that I haven't been able to do it so far so I'm, I'm think from now on maybe I'm going to focus some videos on doing more about that comic and and also do like book bookish stuff and keep going along that line of interest that I have for doing this. I have, like I said, written half the script, I think last year, and then I stopped for some reason, but now I think I have a, an ending goal in my mind. And I think that's really spurring me on to get this, this comic completed. And I really want to do this. And I hope that you guys will be along for the ride because I want to do maybe some like vlog style things like I did with my old comic, Emily is Burning. And if I did that, then we could all do the process together and I think then I'll print some and we'll see what happens with that. But you know, when you have something inside like a story and you just want to tell it, I think, I think I really miss that or the problem solving that you come across when you're trying to make comics or a story. And I think, yeah, I definitely hit a wall with this when I just felt like very tired. So, but now I'm feeling inspired to get on with it and do it. And I think I'm gonna give myself a kick up 
the bum, so to speak, to get this done. So this painting took me a long time, but I think in the end it turned out exactly how I wanted it to and I was really pleased. As always, the perspective of the building is a little bit wonky for me. I always do this, I don't know how. I always manage to make the lines a little bit off, but I also don't mind it that much. I think that's probably a bit of an excuse, but hey, if if I was perfect, then there would be no commentary, right? I would just be like, look at this perfect painting, but yeah. Um, I do really enjoy the way it looks and I really enjoyed the process, which for me, it's really, it is number one to enjoy what I'm doing because I think it really shows when you are struggling with something and it's not, and you're frustrated with it, it doesn't come out right. So I hope that you guys can see that I enjoyed the process of this. I definitely felt like I got lost in it and my mind was like in meditation mode of when you're trying to focus on a painting and I think it really worked out quite nicely. I'm really glad about it. And I'm feeling the inspiration for the comic now and maybe even this could be like a front cover of it or anything or it's the inspiration for the front cover and I really like the way the clouds look behind all this detail and I'm just yeah I'm just very pleased with it and I think what I've learned today is that I should spend more time on paintings usually what I do is because I don't have that much time after work and on the weekends is I do a painting and I do it quite quickly because I know I have to edit the footage for YouTube and stuff so now I think I'm gonna just try and concentrate on just painting for myself a little bit outside of YouTube and see if I can spend more time in paintings like what would come of it because I think that's necessary. I think sometimes what I do is I paint, I get frustrated and I stop. But if I just push through that pain, then I come out with something that I'm actually quite proud of. And maybe, hey, in a few years, I'll look back at this painting and be like, that's rubbish. But right now, I think I'm really proud of it. And I hope that you guys like it as well. Um, let me know what you think. It took me, yeah, I, it, probably it took me longer than I usually spend on normal paintings that I do. But if I can spend a few hours on a painting every day, then I think I can grow as an artist so much. So I think what I need to do is just dedicate more time to my art outside of work. And yeah, I need to be, I need to be strict on myself, basically. I think if anybody, if you have a goal in mind, then you have to be strict. It's not just gonna happen for you just because you hope for it. And I think that's something that I need to just keep reminding myself of, but also like take care of myself, take it easy, but also be strict, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think overall, that's it, I really enjoyed the painting and let me know what you guys think. Okay, so that's the final painting. I really enjoyed these gouaches. I think they are very similar to the other gouache anyway. I enjoyed using them and I'm glad that I bought this set because I felt like the other set needed a top up. I'm really pleased with them actually. I'm really glad. I really enjoy these jelly shapes, these little cup shapes. It's really nice to just delve into. I like the painting overall. I probably talked about it quite a lot. And I just want to say as well that I've still got comics on sale of my old comic. If you guys fancy checking that out, it's on Etsy. No pressure and yeah that's it that's all from me so thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more it really helps me and the channel out and i will see you next time bye